the OBG did not offer UFE, and um, because I was so desperate to get my problems fixed because they were d very disruptive in my life and at work and I couldn't exercise. It was really a bad time in my life. And so um, at the time, because I wasn't getting any resolution from my primary care, the first OBG, I started scheduling appointments with different healthcare providers until I was going to get fixed. And um, I actually had an appointment with another OBG after my appointment with Dr. Harris. Uh, which ended up being after I'd had the UFE procedure, which was great, and she's now my OBG. Um, but I was going to go, you know, I, I was worried that Dr. Harris wouldn't think I was an embolization candidate, and so I was looking maybe for an ablation. If I was looking for other alternatives besides a hysterectomy. So, so the truth is the two OBG guys that were of no help to me, um, I will never go back to them again, and I will never refer to them. Um, and now I have a nice female OBG who thinks UFE is great. And my OBGYN did offer UFE with another doctor, but I decided to go with Dr. Todd Harris.